Hi everyone, today I am on this absolutely stunning paradise little beach, little tropical number, and have I got a little treat for you, because you actually don't get more Thai than this. Today I am going to help a lovely, a lovely young lady who has allowed me to use her little stool on the beach to make a chicken and papaya salad. Yeah, so you're going to see how to make a proper Thai chicken and papaya salad and on what better location than this absolutely paradise beach. Keep watching. As I say, today I am on this absolutely stunning little beach and I found this little shack and this lady has agreed for me to film, which is very nice of her. And her name is Nat. What's your name? Nan, is it Nan? Nan, how are you doing Nan? Good morning, good afternoon. And she's gonna show me how to make a proper papaya salad. Now this is the papaya that she's chopping up by hand. Obviously peeled it first. And she's gonna take me through the whole process of actually making this fantastic chicken and papaya salad. Dirty cup. As usual, as soon as I start cooking, or someone starts cooking for me, customers start arriving and it starts getting busy. Look at that, how beautiful is that? Horses on the beach as well. People out sunning themselves, swimming, everything you do on a beautiful paradise beach and bloody rude not to as well. In fact, it's so gorgeous, I'm gonna go for a little swim myself later on. Anyway, back to the cooking. So this is how you chop the papaya. Can I just try a little bit of that, please, now? Just see what it tastes like. Papaya. So refreshing, so beautiful. The closest thing I can resemble that to is cucumber. Definitely tastes like cucumber. Very nice, too. Yeah, lovely. Make it spicy. Beautiful. So what we got there? We've got the papaya sliced up. Two. Make it very spicy, yeah. Garlic. Oh, that's what we got going on here. Garlic, salt, chili peppers. Fresh chili peppers. Crush that and a massive pestle and mortar. Absolutely massive. Never seen a pestle and mortar that size, but how handy is that? Brilliant. Some green beans, long green beans. That gets chucked in there as well. Fresh tomato. Look at that. No chopping board needed. All done by hand. All chopped up nicely. Look at that. Lemon, lime, squeezed in there as well. And is this popular salad now? Everybody likes it? Yeah. So yeah, really popular salad. Is that's coconut sugar. Coconut sugar. Is that like balm sugar, I guess? 
coconut sugar. Never seen that before, but there you go. Every day is a school day, as they say. Fish oil. Fish oil going in there as well. Wow, it's looking so good so far. Really tasty. Oh, what's that? Nuts? Oh, prawns. Some dried prawns going in there as well. Look at that. Dried prawns. Some nuts. Fantastic. Then she takes a papaya, papaya, puts a papaya in as well. And the chicken, which is already cooked. That gets sliced up. Yep, chicken's already been cooked. How mouth watering is that? Fantastic. It's all getting mixed in together. And that's it. That's your papaya salad. Put it on a plate. So we can put on here. Garnish dressing on there. Look at that. And there you have it chicken and papaya salad made with your authentic original recipe. Look at that. Absolutely amazing next job for me to do is to eat it. Absolutely amazing. Right. Just don't get better than that. Walking on the Paradise Beach, eating a papaya and chicken salad. You know what? That could actually be construed as showing off, couldn't it? Hope you're not freezing your nuts off back in the UK. Prawn and papaya salad. What I can only describe as paradise settings. And as they say, the proof of the pudding is in the tasting. I mean, look at that little baby. Okay? So refreshing on the beach. I know I'm going to enjoy this before I even get stuck into it. I know I'm going to enjoy it. Spicy. Of course it is. If you don't want it spicy, Nan says you can make it non-spicy for you. Personally, I'll definitely go with the spice. Two chilies, plenty, but just enough. Everything going on here. The nuts giving it that crunchiness. Tomato giving that freshness. Papaya. Just like cucumber, really. Chicken, um, prawns in there, dried prawns are mixed in there as well. The fish sauce, oh, all these flavors, the green beans, everything. I mean, I don't normally eat green, uncooked green beans, but these marinated in this sauce. It is in its 30s today, 34, 35 maybe. Squelching hot. Might be sweating because of the chilies as well, but believe me, this is the perfect meal for a hot day like this, especially sitting on the beach. This to me is Thailand. This is proper, authentic Thai food. And no cooking involved. Okay, fair enough. The chicken was cooked, but you can't cook a bit of breaded chicken 
I'll show you how to do it in my next video. <laughs> Just buy some KFC and chuck it in there. Mm. Amazing. And the nuts give it that crispiness. The fish sauce, the chilies, the lime, the garlic. It's like an orchestra of angels playing on your tongue. It's so beautiful. And then to top it off, this wonderful setting. Beautiful paradise beach. I mean, what more can you ask for? Is a green papaya so it looks like a cucumber about 20 times the size ah it's a is a fruit isn't it papaya fruit pawpaw the same pawpaw grow on tree yeah yeah i'm, I'm pretty much yellow, you can eat like yes yeah oh right okay so this is a green pawpaw basically mm -hmm. so in it's in it's when it's ready to eat it goes yellow so yeah papaya they call it so that's the difference between papaya and a cucumber uh, totally different types of uh, vegetable or fruit, whatever you want to call it. But there you have it. So we've got some chopped up um, mango going on here. We've got the papaya in there. Mango, just in case you didn't know what a mango is. They do tend to like their um, fruit green. And using it in the salads, I can totally appreciate it now. Whereas I like to eat my fruit ripe. But that's when you're eating it. Just eating it as a as a fruit, but when you're making it into a salad, definitely fantastic. I'm um, using it green. You get that. Well, it's just a different, completely different taste. It's more of a salad than a than a fruit, so to speak. Absolutely fantastic, amazing. Never thought of that. That's just prawn and papaya salad. Is it prawn and papaya salad or just prawn? The noodle. So. This is a prawn and noodle and papaya, a little bit of papaya, all mixed together. This is Nan's little stool. If you ever come down to Bua Hin and you want to check out some good food made naturally and in paradise settings, then this is the place to come. So a big thank you to Nan. Thank you very much. That was absolutely fantastic beyond whatever 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 nan's been very kind to show me and let me video her making this salad so thank you very much nan and you know what i'd say to nan like you know that is such a beautiful salad you should get a job you should get a restaurant or something like that or a, or a job in a um in a restaurant cooking making nice food what a stupid comment that would be when you can do it here. Look, I'll change my job any day to have my little kitchen on the beach like this. Okay, it's different if you live here, I know that. But you're making enough money to survive and, you know, you don't need to do anything else. You know, I might just do this to retire. Might be my retirement idea. Little shack, simple setup on the beach. Um, not a lot else I can say really, it just speaks for itself, doesn't it? Chef's Travels, thanks very much for watching. Hopefully, see you on the next one. Cheers.